Welcome back to Python tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to write a Python program that has a method called isLeapYear, which accepts the year as its argument and checks whether the year is leap year or not and display an appropriate message on the screen. So we need to have a method called isLeapYear. We need to pass one uh, parameter that is year. We need to check whether the year is uh, leap year or not. If it is leap year, we need to print it as a leap year. Otherwise, we need to print it as a, a not a leap year. First, we try to understand the logic of this particular program. If year is divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. That is for sure. There is no need to check any other condition here. For example, 1600, 2000, 2400 and so on. All these things are leap years. If the year is divisible by 4, but not by 100, then the year is leap year. For example, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020 and so on. All these numbers or the years are divisible by 4, but not by 100. Hence, these are called as the leap years. If we consider this example, that is 1800, 1900, 2100 and so on. All these numbers or the years are divisible by 4 but also divisible by 100 hence these are not a leap years in this case. So we need to write this particular logic uh, to come up with the final result in this case. So we write one definition that is uh, def is underscore leap underscore year that is the method name here. We will pass on parameter let us say that uh, that is year only now what we do here is uh, uh, we will check these two conditions that is uh, if that is uh, year is you can say that divisible by 4 which is equal to 0 that is how we check it out and not divisible by uh, you can say that uh, uh, what should happen is 100 year so what we do here is year divisible by 100 not equal to 0 or that is uh, the other condition what we have is uh, if the year is divisible by we can say that uh, 400 then it is a leap year so that is what uh, we need to write here I will close this particular thing block you can say print you can say that by AR is a leap year else the meaning of this one is uh, uh, these two conditions uh, are not true this or this one so we need to print y e a r is not a leap year now uh, the definition of this particular function is over like uh, we have checked whether the year is divisible by 4 but not by 100 or it is divisible by 400 in such case it is a leap year otherwise it is not a leap year now what we do is uh, we will read year from the user so year is equal to int of uh, input uh, whenever you read anything from keyboard using input function it will be in the form of string so first we need to convert it into integer so that's the reason i have written int of input here we will ask user to enter the year so the user will enter the year here that will be stored into year again now we will call that particular uh, method that is is leap year that is is underscore leap underscore year and then we will pass this year as a parameter to this one now the year is passed as a parameter to this is leap year it will check whether it is divisible by 4 but not by 100 or year is divisible by 400 if any of these two conditions is true it will print the year is leap year otherwise it will print the year is uh, not a leap year in this case so we just uh, run and see whether it is working fine or not I will execute with the help of uh, shift enter button I think uh, we are getting a message error message for this particular ampersand ampersand here uh, 
here we should not use uh, ampersand ampersand here actually we need to use and and here i need to use or here rather than using those uh, uh, bitwise and and bitwise or operator we need to use and and or operators over here so definitely we will get uh, the correct result now uh, i will enter the year as 2100 it is not a leap year because it is divisible by 4 as well as by 100 so we should get not a leap year now i will enter 2020 it is divisible by 4 but not by 100 so it should be a leap year yes we are getting that particular thing uh, we will check one more thing that is the 1600 it is uh, divisible by 4 it is divisible by 100 but the very important thing is it is divisible by 400 here so because of that it should be a leap year in this case yes it is a leap year similarly we will check one more thing that is a 2000 you can say it is again divisible by 400 hence it is a leap year in this case so i hope you understood how can we find whether a given year is a leap year or not this is a very simple condition you need to check based on this particular condition you can print whether the year is leap year or not in this case i hope the program is clear if you have any other questions you can put those questions in the comment box below i will try to answer those questions as soon as possible if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching